it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm and I thought I'd run through something that we just went through with a customer and it was quite funny because they started using Wireshark 2.0 as you see on my screen and they generated some traffic we tried some filters they weren't working out for them as they thought it should work and sure enough they immediately blamed it on Wireshark 2.0 which had nothing to do with it let's run through it so here we go we have this um, uh, IP version 4 and ICMP packets going back and forth and the client said I only want to see these IPv4 packets I don't want to see these ICMP destination reachables so they proceeded to uh, highlight over the source IP address right click and apply that as a filter and selected and normally they would expect to see nothing but the 10.199 all the way down the source because we are using an IP source filter this didn't happen and as you can see we see pretty well almost the same stuff 199 171 back and forth back and forth uh, so they immediately blamed that on Wireshark 2.0 and I said that has nothing to do with Wireshark 2.0 so I explained to them what was happening this is probably something they've never paid attention to because they never had to I'm going to highlight this 171 uh, packet and as I move down here within the ICMP uh, header if you will ICMP is kind of cool because it actually gives you a copy of the offending packet which I always think is helpful so if we open up the ICMP header you'll see an IPv4 header just just as you would up here but this is the packet that was originally sent so as you can see the source is 199 if I open that IP version 4 header and I just scroll down a little bit you'll see there's the source right there if I highlight the source you'll see it says IP.SRC just like that so Wireshark is going through that field and saying hey it's there there you go um, so at that point the client looked at me and said well I don't want to see those ICMP packets well what, what do we do and I said well we want the IP source to be this and not who oops not ICMP enter there you go and instead of the word not an and we could have used the symbols double ampersand and the bang but the, this I like doing it this way just to show people uh, what the actual boolean operands do and there you go it was that easy so watch yourself when you get into ICMP error messages because within their header we have the IP address of the original packet Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.